Hey guys, what's up? This is Koga Ninja. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get into it right now. In this video, what I'm going to be talking to you about is dice rigs versus real craps tables. All right, so the myth is the, and this is actually a myth, guys. I don't care what anybody says. This is a myth. And the myth is this, and that the myth is in dice control, you're going to hear a lot of people that have been doing dice control for a while. They're going to tell you that if you expect to be a really good dice controller or be an amazing dice controller, that you need to go out and, and, and purchase a table, a real craps table. Real crap, real crap, 12 foot craps tables can run anywhere from $1,500 to ten to $20,000. Uh, the average I see on you, uh, on Craigslist and you know, eBay is roughly around two to three thousand dollars for a table uh, for a good used 12 foot craps table that's come out of a casino. That's a lot of money. The problem with the craps table was one, it's a lot of money, and two, you need to have a place to put it. And most people get bored with craps tables, they end up uh, becoming uh, a, a hat racks or clothing racks, and that's that's really the reality. A very, very few people will actually keep their craps table and actually make it what it really is uh, and use it, what it for what it really is. And that is to practice craps and the game of craps and you're practicing your controlled throws. So I hear it all the time and, you know, and it's usually it's usually a lot of novice players or intermediate players telling the new guys, oh yeah, you need, to you need to buy a craps table to be great. Let me tell you guys, let me put that to bed right now. Let's bury this myth that is absolutely 1000% not true. That is absolutely not true. You do not need to have a craps table to be a, an excellent dice controller. I and and I, and and I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my story is when it comes to that. I the whole 9 months that I trained on on uh when I first got into dice control, the first the first 4 months I practiced on uh practice throwing into a cardboard box, which is what I teach you to make in in some of the very first videos that I ever put out on YouTube. I practiced for four months throwing into a cardboard box. And then four months later, I actually went out and bought some wood and you know, bought some alligator backing and uh, put together a little receiving station. And that's it. And I practiced for nine months doing that. So, and then, and then after that was done, I went out, started playing, you know, got, got my feet wet. And I was, you know, great shooter. I was banging out 20s, 30s, 40s, 50 rolls consistently all the time. And I never had a craps table. So why is it that people are telling you this, this lie, this myth? It's a myth, guys. What is going to make you a great craps shooter, dice thrower, is you understanding the technique, under, truly understanding what the controlled throw is, and then mastering the controlled throw. That is what makes you a great dice controller, not the table. That is a, that is a complete myth, and I hear it all the time, and I just want to pull my hair out of my head. And, and, and I'll, I'll, give you an, I'll give you another little analogy that, I'll give you an analogy that, that will make more sense to you. Uh, did Babe Ruth, uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, home run hitters of all times, uh, he was only great when he was on his own home field? No. He could swing the bat and hit the ball anywhere you put him. Anywhere in the world he could hit that ball and, 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 and launch it into the stratosphere. So are you telling me that he was only great when he was playing on his home field? Absolutely not. Are you telling me that Larry Bird one of the greatest three-point basketball shooters of all times was only great when he was playing on his home uh, basketball court. Are you telling? Is that what you're telling me? See, it, it, greatness 
can be performed anywhere on any on in any environment so so don't get caught up in this idea that you need to have a craps table to be great you don't you just need to have a dice rig that emulates a real craps table that's it you need proper measurements uh, a good layout a uh, 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 building how to properly build the layout correctly and a receiving station and and uh, a simple little throwing station and that's it you do not need to have a craps table you know you you look you look at you look at uh, uh, one of the greatest golfers of all times uh, uh, what's his name the black guy uh, Woods Tiger Woods excuse me Tiger Woods uh, are you telling me that he was only great on one court? Uh, uh, excuse me, on, on one golf course? No, he was great on every gol golf course that he played on. It is the understanding of the throw for him, the swing that made him great. For Larry Bird, it's the pure understanding of the three-point throw. And for, for Babe Ruth, it was the un proper understanding and the mechanics of the perfect baseball swing. That is what makes you great, not the field you're playing on. So I want to put that to rest and be done with that. Do not fall into the trap that you need to buy a craps table to be great. I, I, I've been around, I've been doing dice control for seven years, guys. And it was only, it, it's only till recently that I have had more access to a craps table. All the time, I was, I've just been using my, my custom-made dice rig, a dice rig that I made, uh, which, you, which, you'll, which you will see in if you purchase my Koga Ninja kick-ass dice control video course. You'll see my dice rig. It's right there. And that's what I've been using for seven, uh, six years of my career. So, and I've, and I'm, I'm a great dice thrower. So you don't, I'm telling you guys, don't fall into the trap that you need to have a craps table. That's just total bullshit. You, you, what you need is the proper understanding of the mechanics of the control throw and then mastering it. And practice, you know, and the only way you do that is through practice, practice, practice. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for listening. Check out my website, koganinjadicecontrol.com. Uh, I've got some great products on there. I've got the Evolution Throw for sale. I've got my Koga Ninja Kick-Ass uh, dice control video course. I've got the uh, Trinity method, great chart, uh, the best charting method out there, uh, developed by a guy named Travis McGee. Awesome material, guys. Check it out. If you have any questions on anything, reach out to me direct at koganinja777 at yahoo.com and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Even if you comment on any of these videos, the fastest way to get a hold of me is directly hitting me up at koganinja777 at yahoo.com. Uh, yahoo Thanks guys so much for checking out this video.